Hey, Jason, how, were, you, were you guys prepared to see so much of uh, McCaffrey today? And what, what do you think you brought for them? Um, to be honest, I thought uh, Martinez was going to be there a lot, out there a lot. But, uh, you know, we, we were prepared for seven as well. We knew that what type of threat he was going to be. He was going to try to run the ball a lot, you know, a lot of um, trick plays and stuff like that. So we, we knew what to what to expect from him. But I, I was surprised by the fact that we didn't see Martinez. Justin Morgan. Jason, what's been the biggest difference for, uh, for you guys, the defense so far between the first and the second half? Um, it's intensity, I guess, more locked in. Um, we had to do a better job, of, um, you know, just trying to be a, a second half, not just trying to be a second half team, but, you know, bring it all together four quarters. Um, we keep saying it, but we got we got to do it. I think it just starts from practice, you know, just um, being more locked in, being more focused on what we have to do. But I would, I would probably say uh, the intensity. New bias? All right, we got it finally. All right, man, sorry about that. Um, were you guys caught off guard at all by Martinez not starting and McCaffrey starting and playing pretty much the whole game? Um, yeah, like I said, um, I wasn't anticipating that happen. I thought we were gonna see like an even both. I was surprised he didn't play at all. But you know, that that's how you know certain games are gonna go. We gotta be prepared. You know, we came out slow in the beginning. You know, once we got our feet and I settled ourselves. I think we did a, a pretty good job in the second half. Mark Brennan. Jason, can you put your finger on why you, you think there's not maybe that intensity that you need in, in the first half? Because it's it's been a pattern, it seems, so far. So how do you go about finding that? It's just um, being focused. You know, we're, all, we're just learning how to win. We're learning how to, how to, how to be effective and um, it's it's you know it's growing pains, a lot of a lot of new stars and stuff. I mean that's not an excuse, but we we're learning. You know, start starting starting slow has been has been our mo. So we gotta we gotta we gotta take it back to the beginning. From like I said, practice, being more detailed on the specifics, intensity. You know, that's all I can say. You know, I I can't I can't I can't give you an exact reason why we keep starting slow, but when we pick it up, we pick it up. David Eckert. Hi, Jason. Thanks for your time. Um, just is is intensity something that you can manufacture, or does that have to be natural? Does that have to just come? Say it again. Sorry. Um, is, is intensity something that you can manufacture, or does it have to be natural and just kind of come? It has is it something you have to be manufactured, and what else? I can't hear you. Does intensity have to be something that's, can that be manufactured or does it have to just be natural? Um, it's just something that you gotta get in within. You gotta, like, we gotta, you gotta tell yourself that, you know, in the beginning, you gotta start out strong. You, you don't wanna, you can't give Big Ten teams, you know, 10 points, 20 something points in the first half, because it's just, it's not gonna be good for you. I feel like it's just telling yourself that you gotta start fast, getting that first hit, you know, like, I can't give you a, a, a clear answer. I know what I tell myself is try to get the first pop, try to get the first hit, and then build off that. It's just going to keep going. I feel like we all got to do that collectively. And once we do that, we'll be fine. Nate Bauer. Jason, what can you describe the level of trust that, that you guys feel um, w within the defense? Like, not, not, how you guys like each other off the field, but like playing within the framework of the defense, how important is that element of trust? And can you evaluate where you feel like that is right now? Um, you know, trust, that's, that's a big part of defense, especially our defense. Cause everything is, is, is like, this happens, that's gonna happen. Go here, he's gonna fit off here. So I feel like trust is a big part of our defense. And, you know, I feel like Maryland was a good game. We built off of, you know, just trying to trust, trust it. We didn't get the outcome we wanted. So we can you know, kind of get better at it. But um, in terms of the defense framework, it, it showed that, you know, they've won Big Ten championships with it. They won a lot of big games with the defense. 
being stout, you know. So you know, we can't just try to like quit on the defense out of nowhere just because we're losing. It's, it's it's on the players, and we gotta we gotta be more focused, buy in, and trust the system because it's shown it's work. John. Hey, thank, hey, uh, Jason, building off that a little bit, knowing the guys on the defense like you do, what tells you that, that they're going to keep working, that you're going to get through this, and that they're going to continue to be resilient and, and find a way to be successful? What tells you basically that the guys are going to continue to keep putting the work in? You know, it's just the locker room. After the game, we were just, it, it was like a different energy. It was like, all right, we're almost there. We just got little things we got to clean up, and we, we, we're trying to, like last week, we had a good approach to practices. We were we were more focused. We were more detailed. We had a little slippage, but you know we're just gonna keep building on that. I've trusted in, in in my players and in my in my teammates because the energy was different. It was like, all right, we know we know how we practice. You know, it it, it, it showed some benefits. So we just gotta keep on doing that. Keep on being cleaner. So you know, I, I have faith that that we we can we can build up build on that. Donnie? Jason, those the, the tur turnovers on offense, clearly, is that, it's not something you guys want to have. But as a defense, when you have that quick change, uh, those those quick change possessions, how do you guys kind of have to work to get better to you know, to, to maybe put the, the zero up or hold to a field goal in those situations? Uh, you cut out the last, the last part of your, your question. I'm sorry. I, yeah. How, how, how do you guys kind of get better on those quick change possessions to, to kind of hold them to a field goal or, or a zero where, where they're scoring a touchdown on that short field? Look, you got to tell yourself that we're, we're going to allow our offense to, you know, play it out before down. So, because they put their trust in, in us. So, you, you got you to come in with that mentality. Like, we, we can't, they can't move the ball on us. And I think we did, a, we did a good job of doing that most of the time. I think we gave it, what, three, three points? After in the second half, so we we did a good job in in, in certain times where there was uh, was sudden change. So um, just building on that mentality of you know just pulling your bootstraps up, going to work. Mark Wogenrich. What did you mean by a different locker room this time as opposed to last week? It's just it's more focused. It's like we know we know what we have to do. It was like. All right, reassurance. All right, you know, this, this is a stepping stone. We learned from this. That's what, that's what y'all got to do. We're learning from each game. We're learning what we got to do better on each game. So it was like it was like that kind of sense in the locker room where, all right, we, we know we got we to gotta approach certain certain things in practice, certain, um, you know, certain adjustments better. And it was just like people knew what we had to do as opposed to the other weeks where, you know, it was just like, all right, we're upset that we lost. It was like a more, you know, focused on the next game, Iowa. Time for two more questions. We're going to go Michael and then Rich Scarcella, please. Thanks. Hey, who does a, when a message like that is delivered, who usually delivers it? Who has the most impact in the locker room? And Spence was always a fiery guy, especially before games. And be honest, has is, is anyone stepped into that void? Uh, locker room. I mean, we all do a good job of you know trying to roll it up. But like I said, a lot of uh, someone that probably does, or two people that probably do a good job of just you know speaking and you know trying to roll it, roll, roll up the the group. Stock of Tony, obviously a big leader, and then Lamont Wade, you know, telling us to keep our heads up. And you know, we there's things we got to do. They they keep it they keep it real, and that's what we need right now. A lot a lot of things weren't going our way. A lot of things. Aren't going our way because we didn't do things right. So uh, they, they made sure to, to let us know that it's tough love sometimes. Like you have to have leaders like that to like tell us what we're doing wrong as well as what we're doing right. And then in terms of uh, replacing Spence with the, with the intensity, you know, no one can replace that. You know, he brings a different type of juice. So it's, it's like a collective, you know, we gotta all get the juice ourselves up. Last question, Rich, go ahead. Jason, I apologize if you were asked this earlier. What did Will Levis do for the whole team after he came in, and particularly you guys on defense? Um, you know, he just he just brought a, 
a great dynamic to it. You know, I love I love Will. I love what he brings to the game. He's he's a tough runner. He's smart, and he believes in himself. He just he gave us a spark that we needed because we knew that he was gonna give it all out on the offensive side. So we we had to give it all out on the defensive side. So uh, I was really happy with Will did with what Will did. You know, that's that's the type of guy Will is. He he comes in and just provides a spark, and I just hope that he he builds on it.